Hello, in this video I will be showing you how to do a weekly maintenance for your trombone and how to give it a bath. To do weekly maintenance on your trombone, you will need tuning slide grease, rotary valve oil, trombone slide lubricant, a spray bottle with water, a mouthpiece brush, a cleaning snake, a right-handed glove, some paper towel, and of course, your trombone. You will want to clean your mouthpiece after each practice session, or as often as possible. To clean the mouthpiece, you will need the mouthpiece, a mouthpiece brush, some soap, a source of water, and some paper towel. Rinse the mouthpiece under running water and give it a nice rub with soap and your fingers and the mouthpiece brush. Then using the mouthpiece brush, clean the inside of the mouthpiece while keeping the water on. Finally, rinse the mouthpiece with water, turn the water off, and dry the mouthpiece with some paper towel. After each practice session, it is important to put your trombone away into its case to protect it from any accidental damage. Before taking the trombone apart, empty the condensation that is built up during practice by holding down the water key on the bottom of the slide and blowing air into the mouthpiece at the same time. Water drops will come out, so I recommend doing this into a sink or a bucket that you can clean later. To take the trombone apart, Loosen the mouthpiece by twisting it, preferably counterclockwise, and pulling it out. Next, loosen the finger screw all the way where the bell and the slide meet, also known as the tenon, and twist the slide until it comes loose. To lubricate the tuning slides, you will need your tuning slides, tuning set grease, the spray bottle with water, some paper towel, and a right-handed glove. First, separate the tuning slides from the bell if you haven't already. Then use the spray bottle to make the paper towel moist and rub off any old grease on the slides. Now, using your gloves, apply some of the tuning slide grease onto the slides so that it is adequately covered, but you don't want too much of it though, or else it's going to be a mess to put back in into the bell. So now that the tuning slides are greased, you'll want to put them back into the bell one side at a time. Slide it up and down while twisting it back and forth to get the grease to really slide in between the tubes. After the grease slides on both sides, put the tuning slides back into the bell. And if your trombone is like mine, which has rotary valves, sometimes you'll see that the valves can get stuck after you put the tuning slides back in. If this happens to you, just wait a couple of minutes, let the air escape the tubes, and the valves will be free to go. For this, you will need your rotary valve oil and your bell. First, take the cap of the rotary valve off. Then, drop a couple of drops of rotary valve oil onto the middle circle of the valve. Close the lid of the rotary valve and move the rotaries a little bit so that the oil can get in. Repeat this process until the valves feel nice and smooth. For this, you will need some paper towel, trombone slide lubricant, the spray bottle with water, and your right handed gloves. First, you will need to separate the main slide into two parts, the inner slide and the outer slide, and lay them gently onto the floor. Next, take a paper towel and spray it to get it a little bit damp. Now you will use the paper towel to clean off any old lubricant that is left on the outside of the inner slides. Then, apply a little bit of the lubricant to the bottom of the inner slides, also known as the stockings. This is where the outer slide touches the inner slide, because this is the thickest part of the inner slide. And rub the lubricant so that it covers the stocking sufficiently. Now attach the outer slide to the inner slide, and match the slides with the slide locks on the same side. Once you've attached the outer slide to the inner slide, you can use a spray bottle to spray the stockings and some of the inner slide. 
Now use the outer slide to spread out the lubricant and the water to the entire slide. And you may spray more water if you feel that you need more slipperiness. Okay, so everything up until now is weekly maintenance. Now let's learn how to give your trombone a bath, which you will need to do every 3 to 6 months. You will need some soap, a bathtub, a water source, a cleaning snake, and a towel. First, separate your slides so that the inner and outer slides are separate. Next, fill your bathtub with water to about 2 inches deep. Add some soap into the bathtub while the water is running to get a bubbly surface. Then, lay the two parts of the main slides into the bathtub while making sure to get rid of any air bubbles within the slides by holding one side up near the surface. Next, lay the bell into the bathtub. It doesn't matter if a little bit is sticking up out of the water. Leave the trombone in the tub for about 10 minutes, then flip the bell so that the other side gets soaked. Now, using the cleaning snake, run it through the slides. If a snake gets hard to push, don't force it. Just take it out. This will especially happen when you're cleaning out the outer slide and the bell. When you're cleaning out the outer slide, make sure you press down the water key first and let the water droop out. Once you have cleaned these slides with a snake, you can run the snake through the small side of the bell. Once you have cleaned the insides of the trombone with the cleaning snake, you can dry off the trombone with a towel. After drying off the trombone, you will need to lubricate the main slide and the tuning slides again as shown earlier. Thank you for watching my video, I hope it was informative.